Hey guys, Vidikin here, and up for my day, which is Thursday. Not quite as late as normal, but still pretty late. And I'm gonna sit on the bed. Ooh, window right next to my head. Uh, in the summer I have to put like a plastic trash bag, one of those black ones over top of it so I can sleep at night. Sun never goes down. Hi, kitty cat, how are you? Kitty cat, look at me. Hello. <laughs> She's like, death glare. So yeah, topic for today is... Um... What asexuality has given to you? And I find that a very interesting question. And, um... Well, it's given me probably quite a few things that I can't think of right off the bat. Or right off the top of my head. Uh, it's given me a couple of things that I can immediately think of. The first one being reassurance that this is okay. That this is alright. I'm not some weird freak of nature that just doesn't have a sense. Doesn't have something that everyone else does. That I'm just, that I'm not just having been something something I just mess that sentence up really weirdly I that I'm not desensitized to something or for no apparent reason that I'm not a robot that I'm not some alien that there's nothing wrong with me and I'm just reminded of that this one line in this song by Janelle Monae it's a really good song it's I was made to believe there was something wrong with me, and it hurts my heart. Lord have mercy, ain't it plain to see? I think it's that. And a second thing is, uh, I had it in my head a second ago. Can you, can you remember? Okay. Second bit was feeling bad because there's a white just putting spice now. Oh yes. Sorry I was a little uh oh, my memory isn't the greatest. Sorry, but it's given me a really new sort of different perspective on things where you're, I see things in a bit different light, being able to take, take away from things, stuff that um, people might get distracted from or, you know, keep picking up on some things that people might see a little bit different or just I see some things such as relationships and the way that they are done up in not necessarily in an entirely different light, but a bit but a shifted one, I guess. Sort of like over here. And it's normally over here. That was weird. Okay. But it's also given me a bit of a negative thing. One is the loneliest number that you'll ever do. And the percentage is one. Law of average says there's probably some lot. <laughs> Almost dropped the camera. There's someone else similar or like me that I know of or that I don't know of that's at my school or something. But, as far as I know, no, I'm alone. I'm alone and I'm lonely. Ah, this has given me quite a bit of loneliness. Because, people don't seem to like me romantically anyways. Well, at least not many people do. Well, at least, well, there was one. But, at the time, I didn't know 
what I wanted out of a relationship and I was, I'll admit it, I was scared to really show any true affection towards him. So that kind of went nowhere. Then he was a senior, he was going to graduate anyways. But it was really nice while I was there. Because he didn't require anything more than what I had to offer, which was just to hang out with him, laugh with him, keep up with him with his really fast talking. And <laughs> to you know, snuggle and hug and all kinds of stuff like that. And I liked that. But yeah, hmm. I don't really have the experience, but I've been told by so many people that most relationships require more than that. And I'm kind of lonely because I don't really want to give all too much more than that. In my mind, kissing is kind of kissing itself is kind of, it's one of those things that a real height in the relationship. Like when you guys finally kiss for reals for the first time, that's something to be remembered. Sort of a hallmark moment, a moment of, yes, we have finally reached a true milestone. But I hear from many people that while that is a bit of a milestone, it's comes way quicker than I'm going to want to do. Because I'm really slow to ease into relationships. Whether that be friendships, like serious friendships, or getting to actually really like someone. I think that kind of, you know, adds to the lack of people who are romantically interested in me. Not only my whatever it is, and my various flaws and things that'll drive people a little ways away from me, but my slowness to really warm up to someone. I don't really like like a lot of people. In fact, um, my ex-boyfriend, I didn't really, really like, seriously start to romantically like him until the last few weeks of our relationship, which in my opinion was a little sad. But it was nearing the end of the year, and he was, I think he was justified in you know, confronting me about it. And I had been thinking it over as well. And this is turning into a thing about more about my relationship than this about what it's given, what his sexuality is given in to me. Oh. What was I talking about? Oh, yeah. Um, yeah, confronted, decided that it's probably best for us to end the relationship. So, yeah. One is the loneliest number that you'll ever do. Two can be as bad as one, but it's only the second. Loneliest number. At least I still feel kind of liberated. I'll be a bit lonely. This one's kind of a bit of a downer, isn't it? Oh.